Meet one of the largest, most awe-inspiring creatures beneath the waves, the manta ray. Imagine a giant underwater bird with a wingspan that can rival a small airplane. Now picture that bird that's actually not a bird, but it's actually a cartilaginous fish, elegantly flying through the ocean, wings rippling like silk in the water. A calm, curious gaze in its eyes. That, my friends, is the manta ray, and it's about to blow your mind. I'm Caleb, your host, and if you've been around my channel, you know I have a soft spot for bizarre and fascinating marine creatures, just like the time we talked about the sea sheep, which, believe it or not, powers itself with photosynthesis. There's a link to that video at the top of the screen right now. Today, we're talking about a much larger surprise, a gentle giant that feeds on some of the smallest organisms in the sea. In the next several minutes, we'll explore exactly what makes manta rays so special, from their massive size and filter feeding habits to their uncanny intelligence. So buckle up, because we're diving right in. Before we set out, here's some questions to guide our journey. Why do manta rays have two strange fins protruding from their heads? Can a fish be smart enough to pass something like a mirror test? And what makes these animals worth protecting in an ocean filled with countless species? Stay tuned, we're gonna dive right in. To understand the manta ray, let's head back in time, millions of years in fact. Rays and their cousins, the sharks, have ancient lineages that evolved from cartilaginous fish. The manta ray we see today is part of the Mobulidae family, which also includes devil rays. Within this family, there are typically two main species we talk about, the reef manta, Mobula alfredi, and the larger, more wide-ranging oceanic manta, Mobula birostris. Reef mantas tend to stay near coastlines, reefs, and sometimes cleaning stations where smaller fish pick parasites off of their bodies. Oceanic mantas roam more extensively, traveling across open waters in search of large plankton blooms. Regardless of the type, all mantas share that iconic diamond shape, a wide mouth at the front, and two cephalic fins that look like horns curled up near the mouth. Hence the nickname, Devil Ray. But trust me, they're anything but demonic. Speaking of devilish horns, let's break down that distinctive manta ray shape. Their cephalic fins on either side of their mouth help guide plankton in, almost like a funnel. The body is flattened and wing-like, allowing for powerful but graceful propulsion. Picture a bird with fluid wave-like motions instead of flapping. Now, how big can mantas get? Oceanic mantas can reach wingspans of up to 23 feet or even up to 29 feet and weights of up to 5,000 pounds. That's heavier than small cars, and yet when you see one swimming, it's as if gravity doesn't exist. Seriously, they glide like they're weightless, which is both mesmerizing and kinda envy-inducing. I mean, who wouldn't want to fly through the water like that? Reef mantas are slightly smaller, growing to about 16 feet wide and weights of up to a ton, which is still a very large animal. Their coloration is usually black on top with white underneath, sometimes with distinct spot patterns you can use like fingerprints to identify individuals. So yeah, we literally have a fish big enough to overshadow small boats, each with its own unique ID badge on its belly. Pretty interesting, right? Now for the fun part, let's chat about a fish that might actually be very smart. Studies have suggested that manta rays have the biggest brain relative to body size of any fish, and some researchers believe they can recognize themselves in mirrors, an ability that's typically associated with higher mammals like dolphins, primates, and elephants. Take a moment to think about that, a fish noticing its reflection and understanding, hey, that's me. If that doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. And if the jury's still out on just how advanced their self-awareness is, there's still plenty of anecdotal evidence from divers who report manta rays returning to interact as if they're curious. Some have described it as being studied by the ray. Mantas also gather at cleaning stations like spa days for fish, where small cleaner fish remove parasites off their bodies. During these sessions, they line up almost politely taking turns. If that's not social grace, I don't know what is. Now, for creatures that can weigh over a ton, what on earth do they eat? Plankton, and lots of it. You might need a microscope to see some of the food they eat, in fact. Manta rays swim with those wide open mouths using those cephalic fins like little scoops that herd the plankton in. Think of it like a funnel on each side of their mouths. Perfect for gobbling up thousands of tiny critters in a single pass. When it comes to migration, manta rays are known to traverse huge swaths of ocean to follow plankton blooms. They might be near a reef one month, then hundreds of miles offshore the next, all in search of these drifting buffets. 
Their ability to sense ocean currents and productivity hotspots makes them like the ocean's graceful migratory travelers, living proof that sometimes the journey is the destination. One of the most mysterious aspects of manta rays is their reproduction. We do know that they're ovoviviparous, meaning the eggs develop and hatch inside the mother's body and the pup is born live, ready to swim. Courtship can be a spectacular dance with multiple males following a female in a sort of underwater conga line, vying for her favor. The chosen male then fertilizes her internally. After a gestation period that can last over a year, the mother births usually just one pup at a time. A big pup, up to four feet across at birth. That's like giving birth to a baby with the wingspan of a coffee table. Because of this low reproductive rate, one pup every few years, manta ray populations can't bounce back quickly if they're heavily overfished. Which brings us neatly to the next chapter. Manta rays might be gentle, but the threats they face are anything but. In some parts of the world, manta rays are hunted for their gill rakers, which are used in certain traditional medicines, despite little scientific evidence supporting their efficiency. Overfishing, bycatch, where mantas accidentally get caught in nets, and habitat degradation also pose serious risks. Additionally, as oceans warm and become more acidic, plankton populations can shift, impacting the manta's food supply. The good news? Conservation groups and governments are stepping up. Marine protected areas like those in Indonesia and the Maldives are established to safeguard manta hotspots. Responsible tourism programs let people swim with manta rays under strict guidelines that minimize stress to the animals. So while mantas face challenges, there's hope that awareness and action, we can keep these gentle giants gliding in our oceans for generations to come. Here's a couple of quick fire fun facts about mantas before we wrap up. There's an extremely rare pink manta ray spotted near Australia's Lady Elliot Island. Scientists believe its color is due to a genetic condition called erythrism, and it's the only documented pink manta in the world. Manta rays aren't just graceful gliders, some have been observed leaping completely out of the water. Researchers suspect this behavior might help remove parasites or could be a form of communication. Mantas are closely related to stingrays, and some individuals retain a small vestigial tail spine. Don't worry, it's harmless and doesn't function like a stingray's barb, and there's no venom. When plankton is plentiful, sometimes manta rays rotate in tight loops called barrel rolls, passing repeatedly through dense patches of food like an underwater buffet dance. While many reef mantas stick around local cleaning stations, oceanic mantas can migrate thousands of miles following seasonal plankton blooms. Tracking data shows individuals crossing entire ocean basins. They sunbathe too. Manta rays have been spotted at the surface basking in the sun between feeding or cleaning sessions. Scientists think the warmth might actually help with digestion or parasite control, a bit like warming up at a spa before the next dive. So there you have it folks, the majestic manta ray, a creature as large as a small aircraft, as graceful as a ballerina, and surprisingly smart to boot. From its epic journeys across oceans to its polite queuing at cleaning stations. The manta ray offers a glimpse of just how incredible marine life can be. If you've enjoyed soaring alongside these winged wonders, give this video a like and consider subscribing for more deep dives into the world's coolest and sometimes weirdest marine life. And hey, if you're feeling extra adventurous, check out my playlist on all things marine life where we explore all types of ocean life from sea sheep to the large manta ray. Thanks so much for watching and remember, our oceans cover over 70,000%.